When you have a website that's not accessible to people with disabilities, you're basically hanging a sign outside the door that says, your business is not welcome here. Hello, my name is Mark. I am visually impaired. I also like to use the word blind uh, because I really can't see much. My name is Stephanie. I was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis when I was 18 months old. This is Juan, my son, and he has cerebral post. He's my love. I do everything with him. Our passion is soccer. What I'm most passionate about is advocacy for chronic illness. <laughs> I'm Mary, and I have uh, two wonderful children. When I think of disability, I have to admit I'm, I'm fairly conflicted. Till about the age of 30, I sort of went out of my way to hide it from people. Disability is kind of like playing a chess game and the opponent is your disease or your chronic illness. He's a human being like us. Even with his condition, he does amazing things. Over the last 10 years, web accessibility has made tremendous leaps and bounds, but unfortunately, I would say that industry has not yet caught up. There's definitely a digital divide. Barriers to getting online and using applications are so ingrained in my daily life. A Juan le gusta entrar en línea con su tableta, con su celular. I always try to make him to be more independent. He doesn't like it, but he's useless. The difficulties are dependent upon my day-to-day. -day. If I am physically able to hold a phone, a tablet, or type on a keyboard at the time, and the prolonged scrolling. Le cuesta un poquito dificultad, pero él es muy inteligente. And you just get frustrated, and you end up not using it and not engaging in the social experience. In 2004, 2005, nobody knew anything about web accessibility. Going online back then was a real disaster, was a real nightmare. Now fast forward to 2019. Few buttons are clearly labeled. We still have a lot of inaccessible web products, but there are standards. If I didn't have any obstacles, I would spend a lot more time using technology. For people like him, the world is not accessible. So web accessibility is not only the right thing to do, but the right thing to do for business. What is essential to me is having tools to navigate my day-to-day -day life. I think we can change the stereotype. If people know more kids like him, there's a better way to see life. I might look young, but I speak for an aging population. Ha, ha, ha.